how are you my internet family and welcome back for another food diary friday and in this one i know this background looks a bit unusual because i'm not at home i'm actually in paris for uh the first time in my life i'm on a wee holiday in france with my family my dad and my uncle and my little brother they're all just waiting for me downstairs but i just wanted to introduce the video because i'm doing another food diary friday for you i have not done a food diary guys in like three months or something i'm really sorry i fell off the wagon with doing these because um i just had a mad time with the book and all did pay off though because this morning we had a flight at like half six or something but in the airport i saw my book in the non-fiction charts sat there number two that's all because of you lovely people and um those of you who like these food diaries there is a whole section about food and like weight gain and weight loss and body confidence and eating disorders and all that stuff so i will link it in the description box free worldwide shipping if you fancy having a read we're staying in this apartment look at the ceilings it's so cute it's airbnb but um all we've done so far today is kind of like wander around an awful lot gathering our bearings we each got a macaron macaroon macaron i got a raspberry one and we looked at some art and then we had our lunch i got salmon and pesto pasta i know that's not very french but that's that's where we're at because i had a craving for it because i'm due my period today so that's where we're starting off this vlog and right now we're about to go i think to see notre dame and uh I'm gonna just vlog the rest of the trip now, just as huge as I would do. I used to vlog all the time. I'm really out of practice with this holding a camera thing and it feels really weird. If you're wondering why I have rings halfway up my fingers, I'm not trying to be a trendsetter. It's actually because I bite my knuckles out of stress. So see if I keep it here, um, I have no access to bite my knuckles when I get anxious. Uh, so that's what that's about, but uh, Let's go and got me some new walking shoes. You may have seen me talk about these yellow tights from Primark in my favorites video. We're staying here for like three nights, three days, and I'm gonna vlog all my foods. Okay, I forgot to say I want to eat like French people. It sounds quite balanced and I like the fact that they embrace moderation here with food. That's important to me so tis my lovely dad. Quick question, is Nutella French? Because I'd, I'd like to know that because it's everywhere. I just saw Notre Dame and I'm crying a little bit because I love the Disney movie of it so much. Morning in Paris, the city awakes to the bells of Notre Dame. And I don't know if I want snails or melon. Do I go safe? Or do I eat some fucking snails? It literally just says snails, like there's no sauce mentioned. But then I could get mm. have to try snails, Becca. And I'm gonna get chicken and mashed potato. vegetables separate tomorrow um i just feel weird when i'm not having fruit veg with my meals much excited for tomorrow though um i really want to go to like one of the french bakeries and get like i just want to try a croissant proper french croissant i've wanted to come to paris since i was little absolutely in love with this city so far i adore it uh i i live here like it's so cool and it's a food lover's dream bitch 
Cette fois, c'était la dernière. Et tu peux croire que c'est qu'une crise, mais tu n'as rien à faire. Good morning, Miss Nakami. Wearing my Gryffindor pyjamas. About to do the makeup. And I'm down in some Evian water because I don't know, my throat feels like super dry in this apartment. Um, but all I want in life is a croissant right now. My stomach is rumbling so bad. Um, I have a feeling I didn't probably have enough at dinner, but it was just so rich that I couldn't think of, oh, that's loud. I couldn't even think of food after eating that. And it's like, I don't know about the whole rich sauces and stuff that they seem to have with a lot of the main dishes over here. Um, I don't know what kind of stuff I'm gonna go for today, but sure, we'll see. Um, we're just gonna continue to be super big tourists. You see this Charlotte Tilbury thing? I mentioned it in a favorites video before. It's a feckin' lifesaver on travel. It's these um, instant look in a palette ones. Deadly, love it. So bro and I just went in for breakfast and they didn't have croissants or anything like that. Um, so I just got a cappuccino and it wasn't all that fulfilling. But right now, like I just wanna get some fruit. So see like they have all these strange, I've never seen these before, ever. I wanna get a bit of fruit and a chocolate croissant somewhere. Um, I don't know what I want. Of raspberries. Oh yeah, actually, wouldn't mind some raspberries. But we get a pun of each. Okay, pun of raspberries and a chocolate croissant sounds delicious. What are those? Oh, maybe strawberries, raspberries. No, the raspberries. <gasps> Mini baby bananas. Look how small they are. They're adorable. Oh, will I get them for snacking on during the day, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> I think I want one, even though they look quite boring compared to all of these, I think I want a chocolate one. Andrew has our fruit. And I have my pastry, and what I've noticed is there's an awful lot less chocolate in it than what would be in it in Ireland, where they make versions. Fam, we made it to the lure, and look, look, that's just one side of it. This is where the Da Vinci Code was set and stuff. I love the Da Vinci Code, it's a guilty pleasure. I know a lot of people don't think it's very good, but like the, the book as well, but I really like the movie. And the soundtrack, it's so lovely. Oh my God. It is the love, it is beautiful, oh my God. Where's that Jax? <laughs> he needs the toilet. Where's the fucking Jax Seal Play? <laughs> Seal Blue Play. <laughs> Andrew. Oh wow, 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 oh wow, oh wow. A lot of it is underground. Fuck off. <laughs> Thanks for telling everyone that, Dad. No, Melanie, no, we're here for the culture, the culture. No shopping. I really hope we can get a seat in here, lads, because this is the cafe from the film Amelie, which I love. Uh, I hope it's not manky food, but yay! I just came in to do a wee and look, it's like a little uh, altar to the film. The film, cutie. We're just gonna do dessert um, and like coffee and hold the appetite and like get something really fucking nice in a little while. I am starving, but like they don't have spaghetti sandwiches or any of the other Frenchy French person things that I want to try. I'm happy. So here is a little espresso, and then this is a small mini mini creme brulee, and then these are two other desserts of the game. I don't know what's in. Have you tried what's in that one, Johnny? This white one. Yeah. Panna cotta. So this is panna cotta, and then this looks like a chocolate brownie or chocolate cake or something. I've been trying to avoid shopping, but this dress though, this dress though, it's in the window and I couldn't not get it. It's 
so cute and I got another one in a similar style like a blue one but they don't have it's that kind of 50s 60s style where it nips in at the waist they don't sell many of those style dresses in Dublin where I live so thank it France why are you so pretty it's very white looking isn't it all the buildings Dears Notre Dame quasi hanging out very good we've done like over 20,000 steps and we're still not even nearly done made a load of effort for dinner look I, I put on a new dress and I took my hair down <laughs> I didn't fix my makeup but it's okay see this red is coming out already out my hair didn't I tell you this? didn't I this is our view by the way I've put my little ballet pumps back on because they match this better than the Boots. I can't stop singing the soundtrack from Les Miserables while I'm here because it's France! Vive la France! We're having dinner here and it has fairy lights so I'm a happy gal. Yay! Okay. Ruin my vlog. You're gonna tell them anything? They're gonna say anything lovely about me? No. I just wanna fucking sit down. <laughs> Out in the darkness, a fugitive running, fallen from cause, fallen from grace. Caught be my witness, I never. So my uncle has told us about this little hot chocolate place that's really popular here called Bastille, and uh, just. Knows his way in the dark. You know when you're perioding, ready to be perioding, that's all you want. I'd swim in this, I'd have a bath in this. Oh, that's feckin' lovely. It's like a bar of melted. It doesn't even taste like liquid. It's like thick and gloopy and gorgeous. How are you? It's day three. I'm eating a peach very ripe and very juicy and very lovely. I need fiber. <laughs> so yeah, we were supposed to do the catacombs today and it's actually closed on a Monday. Why? We don't know, so we've no plan as of yet. We're just gonna roam the streets. I know a couple of my Irish friends are here actually, which is cool. Oh my God, sometimes there's just nothing better, better than a ripe piece of fruit. We've been on the hunt for croissants for so long, guys, in cafes, so we're just going to go into a boulangerie. Mm. I'm going to get an almond croissant. Success! So I have an almond croissant here, and it's still warm. I'm so excited. This is too good for this world. Too pure. Too magic. I am just a Frenchman with a baguette. I like to carry my baguette all around the place. So we've been walking around all day and uh, we're so hungry that we've just resorted to getting sandwiches. I know I'm in France, but I'm so hungry. Maybe they might have nice bread. So I got a tuna salad baguette or a sandwich. I hope it's baguette bread. It did come with French bread too. Yeah. Tuna, tuna sandwich. It looks so delicious. Oh my <laughs> so it's like tuna, mayo, egg, tomato, lettuce, I think that's about it, but the bread looks really, really good and dense. It was nice, but we're getting some crepes as well, because why not? Nutella and banana. Yeah. This is Amelie. It's our last night, our last dinner. Elle, que je la alors moi, mon qui Hold me close and hold me fast. This magic spell you cast. This is la vie en rose. Oh, when you kiss me, heaven sighs. 
though I close my eyes, I see Lavioho. So I have a little bowl of mashed potato, and then these are tiny little baby bananas. And this is a ducky, it's a ducky breast. <laughs> Sorry, ducky. But I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Getting too excited. You only gave one spoon. Because it's all mine. <laughs> I'm gonna share. This is not all for me, it's for everyone, but look. Wait, yes. Happening. Are we all well fed? Are we? Ah, uh, yeah. We're gonna go to sleep now because our flight is really early in the morning, but I'm definitely gonna come back here. Uh, probably Spanish alone. I might come for a couple of days over to Christmas or something just to take it all in and so much stuff to do here and to see here and to eat here um, but it's a beautiful city. All my French viewers um, these are lucky very very lucky but I loved it. Very full gone bed. I look like shit <laughs> I'll see you again in another video very very soon Bye.